On today's video, we're going to go over exactly how to set up and use a TENS unit at home. So the TENS unit is used for mainly pain relief at our office. And one of the things I really like about the TENS unit is it's something that is small, it's affordable, it's something that the patient can use whenever they need it at home. So one of the things we like to do at our office is do everything we can to try to keep the cost as low as possible. And a way that we can accomplish that is by sending things at home with the patient that they can do on their own, all right? So this is a TENS unit and the purpose of it, of course, is for pain relief. So before the TENS unit goes home with you, the doctor will have already set it up so that all you have to do is put the pads on and turn it on. So before it leaves our office, the TENS unit will already be set up for you to use. The doctor will, will put in the specific parameters that they would like the TENS unit to be using, okay? So the way that it works is you're gonna take the pads and I'm gonna show on this diagram the best places to put the pads. So we're gonna start over here on the left. This is a diagram of a person where, let's say they have lower back pain. So if the back pain is right in this lower part here, then the TENS unit will be set up so that the pads, and what you do is you just take the pad and you gently pull it off the little plastic sheet. And the way the pads are put on would be, you're gonna put the pads not directly on the area of pain, but around the area of pain. like so. So the pads will be in those areas there. You'll want it to be somewhat of a crisscross pattern like this. So in the low back, the pads, like let's say the pain is in this area, you'll have one pad uh, uh, above and then another pad above and two below. So you want to have the pads circling the area of pain. It's not overly important exactly where the pads are because the TENS unit will work as long as the pads are around that area of pain. And so what you'll do is after the pads are in place, you're gonna take the TENS unit, and it, again, it'll already be set up. You'll open this little cover, and what you'll do is you'll take the dial and slowly turn it. You'll Initially, you'll hear a little click, and you'll see the light come on. And what you'll do is you'll just slowly turn the dial up until you feel the electricity strong but still comfortable. Then you'll go to the other dial, turn it on. Again, you'll see the little light come on and you'll just turn it up until you feel it strong but still comfortable. After you have it to that level, you'll close the little plastic lid so that you don't accidentally bump into the knobs and then the nice thing about these TENS units, it has a little hook where you can hook it onto a belt or your pants or even just put it in your pocket. And so I wanted to take a couple minutes to go over how these work. So whenever you go, and let's say that you are walking and you bumped your elbow into the wall and you're having pain. So what a person's natural reaction is to rub that, and when you rub it, it seems to make the pain feel better, right? So the way that works is this. If there's any type of an injury, that injured area is sending signals through the nerves up to your brain saying there's a problem there. Because pain is your body's warning sign that there's a problem. The pain isn't the problem, it's the warning sign. So the way that a TENS unit works is, when you put the pads around the area of pain, and in this area you may go a pad here, a pad here, a pad here, a pad here. If you put the pads around the area of pain and you turn it on, it's sending a mild electric current into the skin in that area. And it goes a little bit into the muscle as well. But what happens is that feeling is so unusual to your brain that 
it really just concentrates on the feeling of the electric impulses there as opposed to the area of pain. So the good thing about a TENS unit is it, is it works very well for pain relief. Now, it doesn't fix the problem. You know, that's what we do at our office when we do the exam and look at the x-rays and recommend the programs to actually correct a problem. However, it does a great job with pain relief. And pain relief, especially early on in the care, is extremely important, and here's why. So, the longer a person has a, a problem, like let's say the problem is they have a misaligned vertebra in the low back and that problem is sending signals to the brain saying there's a problem there. It's almost like if you had a hill and it was raining and the water was going down the hill. Eventually the water will find a little uh, place where it'll start to go more and more in that one spot and the more water that goes down there the deeper that rut becomes. The nervous system is similar in the sense that the longer you have pain in an area, the more the neurologic pathway from the pain to your brain is potentiated and the harder it is to break that cycle. So obviously what we do here is we try to fix the problem to, to eliminate the reason that the pain is there to begin with. However, a good thing about the TENS unit is not only does it help with just pain relief right then, but it helps us to break that cycle of pain and break that cycle of the nervous system potentiation for that pain, okay? So when you wear this, you can wear it as much as you want. There's no, obviously you're not gonna wear it in the shower or bathtub or if you go swimming or any, anywhere near water, but you can really wear it as long as you want. Now, if you wear it too long, then it becomes less effective because your brain starts to realize that's there all the time and it can start to ignore it. So a good way to do it is to wear it for a while, but then turn it off, don't use it for a while, and you can leave, in the beginning, if you're in a lot of pain, you can leave the pads on, just turn it off, don't have it on for a while, then turn it back on, use it for a while, or let's say you use it for like five minutes and you don't feel as much, go ahead and turn the intensity up so that you feel it stronger, now that's sending the signals to your brain that it's stronger, and then it'll work again. You wanna be real careful when you do the pads not to have where you put the pads on where they're touching one another because that will short circuit it. And you wanna be real careful to do the pads in a way to where the lead wire doesn't pull the pad off over time because if the pad starts to come off, all the electricity will go through a corner of the pad and that will become very uncomfortable very quickly. So you want to have the pads where they're flat and in place real well. Uh, the pads over time will become less sticky, so you do want to take them off and wipe them down with like a Lysol wipe or an alcohol wipe or something like that. You also want to put them, when you're not using them, put them back on the plastic and put them back in the case so that they don't dry out over time as well. But even despite all those efforts, the pads will over time kind of wear out. And of course, we have more pads that if you, if you need to get more pads, we have those available for you guys, okay? Now, that's the, <coughs> excuse me, the low pack. Now, I'm going to show if, if you were to do it on the neck, you want to be careful with the neck. And the reason for that is that if you were, uh, if you have it too high up in the neck, then it can actually cause some of the muscles in the neck to go into spasm. So you want to be careful with the neck area. So if this was the area where the person was having pain, like let's say it's in the neck area, what you don't want to do is have the pads way up high like this. You do want to keep the pads a little bit lower. So you may go middle neck and down here, you may go out into the shoulder somewhat. This one, you may put down in the shoulder as well. You do want to avoid putting the pad directly over the spine. You want to keep it off centered if it is a spinal issue. And then, of course, you can turn it on and it'll work real well for this as well. Now, some people, if, they're, if they have help, they can do it where they just put them on on the back like that. If you're using it by yourself, then you may have to put the pads on like this and have the lead wires come towards the front so that you can control the system a little bit better, okay? So if you have any questions, if you have your TENS unit and you're using it and you have any questions whatsoever as to whether you're using it correctly, 
uh, feel free to give us a call at 254-778-2225. Otherwise, we wish you the best of luck and we hope it helps you.